You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Hi, and welcome to CNA Heroes. My name is Lisa Sweet, co-founder of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. In case you haven't tuned into this show before, I want to tell you that I get the privilege of talking about my very favorite people, CNAs. CNAs provide the bulk of direct patient care in many healthcare settings, including assisted living, skilled nursing, home health and hospice, and many others. CNAs are often the first smiling face that a patient or resident sees, and often the strongest bonds of trust are developed between the CNAs and the patients, those that they care for. Much to my anger, the CNA role is often minimized when talking about healthcare. CNAs sacrifice personally to continue to work as CNAs as they could often make more money in other settings doing something else. But it's important to know that they choose to stay and work the long, hard hours, day and night, weekdays, weekends, and yes, even holidays. This segment recognizes CNA heroes those who have jumped in to help others quite possibly at their own expense, their own physical peril, even at times. CNAs are some of the most generous people I have ever met, yes, yet they ask so little of us and society. All of this while taking care of everybody else's grandparents, parents, and even children. November of 2015, Amelia Corwin, today's CNA hero, was on a flight back to Portland, Oregon after a trip to Florida. It was only about 20 minutes into the flight when a flight attendant's voice came over the intercom with the question that strikes fear in the hearts of many healthcare personnel in their off-duty time. Is there a doctor or nurse on board? Amelia, a certified nursing assistant at Oregon Health and Science University's Ambulatory Surgery Center, jumped into action immediately upon hearing the announcement. When no one responded, Amelia announced that she was a CNA and knew CPR. The crew accepted her help. When she got to the passenger seat, she saw a young woman who had turned a deep blue color. The woman had no pulse, no respirations, and she had been foaming at the mouth until she lost consciousness. It was obvious to Amelia that she had had a seizure. Amelia used to have them when she was younger, so she's very familiar with the symptoms, and the passenger had been without oxygen for a couple of minutes. At this point, Amelia yelled for people to clear the area so she could perform CPR. A couple of others helped Amelia get the passenger out of her seat and into the aisle of the plane. Another passenger, a nurse, started chest compressions while Amelia monitored the unconscious woman's airway and continued to check for a pulse. After about a minute, Amelia felt the woman's pulse come back and she saw her start breathing on her own. The woman began coughing and gurgling a little bit, so Amelia turned her on her side to clear her airway. Once Amelia returned her to her back, she placed an oxygen mask on her. The crew had given Amelia the headset so that she could directly communicate with the air traffic controller about the condition of the patient. She took the patient's pulse several times to get a baseline and reported her vital signs, though they were unable to get a blood pressure reading due to all the background noise of the plane. The passenger, the patient, started to get feverish, so Amelia assisted her with removing her sweater, and she got a bag of ice to place on the passenger's back of the neck and on her chest to cool her down and relieve the fever. After she returned to a normal temperature, Amelia got her setting up and eventually was able to return the passenger to her seat. 
Amelia sat in close proximity to the woman while the plane turned around and touched down in Kansas City where emergency services boarded the plane and took the woman to the nearest hospital. At this point, the young woman had recovered enough that she was able to walk off the plane with the responders. So today, let's honor a very brave CNA hero, Amelia Corwin. <laughs>